I am Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and I just came out to the factory. Uh, just starting up the fire now, uh, getting it warmed up here. It's uh, it's like 10 degrees out, maybe 12. Uh, and out here is probably in the low 40s. Never gets real cold out here. But uh, once I get this fire going, once again, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Get this jacket off and get warmed up a bit, and then we'll talk, which we do almost every day, and I enjoy. <laughs> and today being Saturday, I'm going to kick back a little bit, but uh, I got some some customers and stuff to be interesting uh, to talk to you about. It's uh, kind of overcast today; not much of a day yet. Okay, we got things all warmed up out here. Got my jacket off and got my orders pretty well done for today. I got uh, two ATP pots to make, an original Mini Atomic and a Mini Atomic cook kit with, with a uh, substitute 12 centimeter pot. Uh, the other custom orders I've already done and even though I said I wasn't going to do it, <laughs> A really good customer who lives a long, long ways away uh, wanted a SS1 simmer ring. So uh, this morning I I built an SS1 simmer ring, which re requires that. Just a second, I'll show you. It requires that you make. The simmer ring, and this will slide inside of the uh, carry case. But before the top of the stove would just slide inside the carry case, so you have to make another one of these. These that will fit inside of this, and that requires that you uh, make another one of these and make it smaller. Which you can't just take the original one and cut it down because there isn't enough wall thickness. Have started all over again. This is a used one. This is mine. So you have to make all this and it's fussy. Uh, what good point to make here is you gotta realize when I make a custom part like this for somebody, something I'm probably not gonna make a lot of, I may only make just the one. Uh, you don't just make it. There's always a problem. You make it, and you look. I personally will look at it and go, "Well, that that's okay. Meets all the requirements. I can send that out." But I'm not really happy with it. This is a little too thin, or this is a little too short, or this is a little bit too loose a fit. So I set it off to the side and make another one. And when I make another one, I say, wow, that's that's a lot better. But uh, I think, and I'll make a third one. So anytime I usually make a custom part like this, two-piece custom part, like, I usually make three of them. So, and, and these are tiny little things, and the tolerances to get everything where it's supposed to be are fairly tight. It's a small part for the size lathe I have, and there's really no money in it. I just do it as a favor to to a friend, you know. And and that's good because this, you know, these people order. These people are my bread and butter. These people that that order from me on a regular basis, and that's these few people are what keeps me going. That and uh, the orders from the completely new customers, first-time orders. Uh, go, uh, PayPal sends me a thing once a month saying what my percentages are. And, and once again this month, and it's been this way for a couple months, 64% uh, of my sales were from uh, new customers. So that, that's a high percentage. That, that really broadens my customer base. On the other hand, customers that have bought from me before, it may be a one-time thing, it may never buy from me again. So it's not like my customer base gets used because I pick up here and it drops off here. So 
but all the way around, I think my customer base is increasing. Now, uh, I'd like to say the obvious, but obviously not obvious to everybody. Uh, if for any reason ever uh, you have a question about your order, where is it? Uh, when did I ship it? Tracking number for an international order should be supplied on a domestic order. But anyway, tracking number. You want me to track it for you and send you the tracking information? Uh, you want to know, you know, what you ordered if you've lost, just anything at all. Anything you want to know about your order, even after you receive it, just email me. Just go to the website, click on Contact Any, and just spew your little heart out, and I will do my best to answer all your questions. Just email me. Ask anything, and I'll, I will answer your email. If I, if I get your email, I will answer it, and, and we'll work out any problems you have. If I don't get your email, you send it to the wrong email, or TDS just swallows it or something, which doesn't happen very often, but it has happened. I 99.9% .9 of them emails, I get them and I answer them. And usually it's a three or four email back and forth, you know, where's my order? And, and I'll go in and, you know, sometimes it's in inside of a tornado somewhere and I, you know, whatever. Or it's stuck at a post office or there's a storm delay or they thought they ordered it and they didn't. Or they thought they ordered it a long time ago and they only actually ordered it two days ago. You know, all kinds of stuff like that. And very friendly, very kindly, we always, we always straighten it out. Every time. And 99% of the time, people email me back and thank me for helping them out. If you have a problem, just email me. Uh, Tinny at minibulldesign.com, easy enough to remember. Uh, and we'll straighten it out. Cool beans. I'm going to go in the house and have a double shot uh, and call it a day. And I'm going to come out tomorrow and build a whole bunch of mini atomics. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.